Hi everybody, I'm Senator Rich Funky with a look at some of the things affecting the 55th State Senate District last week. In Albany, two bills I sponsored passed the Senate and now they head to the Assembly. And the first has to do with the Empire Pass, which is essentially an easy pass for state parks and recreational areas. Typically it's a sticker that you put on your car windshield. My bill changes that to a sticker you can put on your license or a pass to carry. So this gives families the flexibility to enjoy our state's great areas without having to worry about which car they drive or how they actually get to the park. The second bill is about consumer choice and leveling the playing field between B&Bs and the hotel industry. It allows a bed and breakfast to sell wine, beer, and cider. With a $4.4 billion deficit looming in this year's budget, there are tough choices to be made for sure and tough questions to be asked about spending. This week at a workforce development hearing, I asked Empire State Development Commissioner Howard Zemsky about the wisdom of throwing more money to the principals of a startup company in Syracuse who went bankrupt in Rochester despite state help. We cannot simply do business as usual. We have to make better decisions about things like this. Back in the district, I attended a groundbreaking in Irondequoit for Providence Housing's new senior project, which collaborates with St. Anne's. I attended a legislative brunch at the Veterans Outreach Center, which continues to do great work for our veterans. The Jewish Federation of Rochester brought us all together to discuss issues important to them at Temple Brith Kodesh. And on Saturday morning, we discussed issues important to teachers in the upcoming budget, like funding for teacher resource centers and how teachers should be evaluated. I happen to believe that individual school districts know best how to evaluate their own teachers. Also on Saturday, I joined Ibero to show support for our fellow Americans from Puerto Rico as the island continues to recover from the devastation caused by Hurricane Maria. Over 3,000 individuals from Puerto Rico have been helped by Ibero and other agencies in Rochester alone, and they will be there until it's safe to be able to return home. And on Saturday night, I attended the 120th anniversary celebration of the Pittsburgh Fire Department and honored Hal Lusk, who has volunteered his time to the department for 50 years. And finally, February is Black History Month, a chance to remember, educate, and celebrate the achievements of African Americans. I'll leave you this week with a quote from Frederick Douglass, who said, Man's greatness consists in his ability to do and the proper application of his powers to things needed to be done. Let's all keep working. I'm Senator Rich Funky.